Welcome to the final installment of the Jaws film franchise. And <clears throat> we have reached rock bottom. We have climbed that gold mountain. Well, we climbed the gold mountain that the first two films were. Then we slid down. We got a little chunk of shit on our legs when we got to that uh, third movie. And then that chunk of shit became a big old pile of shit. And we fell into that shit abyss. And now we've dove deep into that shit abyss. And we've reached Jaws the Revenge. The Revenge. Jaws the Revenge. Jaws the shark that will follow you from salt water in New England to the warm, clear water of the Bahamas and not going to realize it because the shark is somehow a serial killer that is hunting down the Brody family because it wants to get revenge because apparently it, 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 it has a personal vendetta against the Brodies even though this shark is not connected to the other three sharks that you saw because sharks don't take things personal because sharks aren't fucking human. Jaws the Revenge is the biggest piece of crap you'll ever watch. It is a joke among jokes. Uh, it takes a pseudo... Re it takes a, you know, a... A realist, no, a somewhat realistic movie like the first two Jaws movies. Uh, they're, no, they could be like realistic in their own little way. Maybe not Jaws two. That could be let's uh, give them the shark a facial scar is going way over the top with it. But the first movie can definitely happen in real life. You know, shark you know, invades a small town, wreaks havoc, causes deaths, and these people have to go out and kill it. Um, in nineteen sixteen, uh, there was a, indeed a shark that was attacking that attacked the coast of New Jersey, and several people were injured slash killed. So you know, shark you know coming into a small town and causing havoc you know is not something out of the norm. It has happened before. But then you get the Jaws of Revenge, and it's just a stupid fucking movie. I mean, again, like I said, the shark is acting like it has a personal vendetta against the Brodies, and it makes no sense, because in Jaws 2, there is this line where a shark expert clearly says, Tar sharks don't take things personal. What the fuck? Let's, let's let's make this brief. <clears throat> Number one, the directing by Al by uh, Joseph Sargent is garbage. He is a nice. He's he puts in a shoddy job. The writing is a joke. The characters, you know, Lorraine Lauren Gray returns from the first two films, and she's phoning it in. She's not into this at all. You got the legendary, the awesome Michael Caine, and he's just working for a paycheck. You got Lance Guest who played Jimmy in Halloween two, and he plays Mike Brody, the eldest son, and it's like, whatever. He's like some like marine biologist person, whatever, I don't know. He's, his character is so underdeveloped and so boring, I don't even care. He got Mario Van Peebles, who plays his friend, and he's playing this Jamaican guy, and he's like, shut the fuck up, you're annoying, your accent's annoying me. Your fake Jamaican accent is annoying me. I wanted a real Jamaican to come and slap in the face is how annoying he was. And the shark effects look fake. It looked cheesy, corny, dumb. This movie was made in 1987. It was definitely following the... For some reason, this was following the template of a slasher movie. Because you turn the shark into a serial killer that, that wants to attack this one family. And it's like... Mm -hmm. And then there's like this subtle thing that Ellen has a... That Ellen Brody has a psychic connection with the shark. And you're just like... What? How is that possible? This movie is... If you can watch this movie as just a parody and as a comedy, it's freaking hilarious as to how stupid it is. But if you're watching this as, as a continuation of the Jaws story, you'll be like, why couldn't you just stop that one? Hell, hell. Why couldn't you just stop that too? Because you no, know, because two is clearly the best of the sequels. It's competently, it's more competently made. 
And you know what? I'm starting to regret giving that movie a six because after watching after watching three in the revenge, two is at least an eight. Oh, yeah, I'm revising my grade. I'm giving two an eight. Jaws two is an eight. It's competently made. It much better at handling its characters. The effects even are much better because Jaws the Revenge clearly shows that nobody was given that this was rushed, that they were clearly out of ideas, and they're and bringing in a supernatural element to a realistic sort of situation is completely and utterly stupid. But now we get on to the thing that really got under my skin. Y'all remember Chief Brody from the first two Jaws films, right? Chief Martin Brody, the man that went mano a mano with the shark. In Jaws 1, he's shooting the motherfucker at point-blank range, not batting an eye, trying to survive. Shark comes close. The uh, scuba tank, which is compressed air, is exposed. He has that great iconic line, Smile, you son of a bitch. Shoots it. Explosion. Shark is dead. Was happy, excited. We get to Jaws 2. In a previous scene, we find out that sharks are attracted to low frequency vibrations. So, as a way to draw the shark closer to him, Brody starts banging on this like a on this like electrical pipe thing with a paddle, you know, and you boom, 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 and the shark, you know, under muffled other muffled sounds of the water, you can hear this. It's a low frequency vibration. He comes swimming towards Brody, and Brody just shoves this electrical uh, pipe or whatever post in the shark's mouth. He is electrocuted, catches fire, glorious. They kill his character in Jaws the Revenge, which, you know, you know, you know Roy Scheider did not want to do it, and who can blame him? He didn't even want to do three, who can blame him? But, you know, so they killed him off, which is all right. Does he get a grand demise? They say he died of a heart attack because the fear of the shark killed him. The fear of the shark killed Chief Brody. So the movie wants me to believe that the man who took out two sharks, mano a mano, with no fear, sitting in his house one day, Realizes, holy shit, I killed two sharks. That was really scary. Drops dead. Fuck this movie. Fuck it up the ass. This is a 0 out of 10. It is trash. Michael Caine. Clearly working for a paycheck. Wasted. Lauren Gray. You're good in the first two films. Go back into retirement, you old woman. This movie should be burned. I, I'm sorry. This, was, this movie is just so bad. It's hard to sit through. It's like, watch it as a comedy, and you'll be laughing hysterical. Watch it as part of the overall story, and you're just going to be like, I can't take it anymore. i got to turn it off. Because this movie is hard to watch. It's hard to sit through. It's hard to pay attention to. Do yourself a favor. Avoid it at all costs. Zero out of ten. Thankfully... I didn't have to waste money on this thing because it was good, good to me as a Christmas present. And you know what? I should slap the person who bought this for me for offending me for buying this filth. I am AJ Legend. I'll check back with you next time. Later.